Hi everyone, my name is Nicole and I'm part of the consultation team here at Neuronic and welcome to your video tutorial on how to set up the Neuradiant 1070 device. In this video, we will guide you through some simple steps to get you started and show you how to make the most out of your Neuradiant 1070 experience. After opening the box it came in, you should be met with this black bag, which includes all the components that you need to set up your device. So the first order of business is to double check that you have all the necessary pieces included. So take those all out and make sure you have the following. Arguably the most important component is the helmet itself, which comes in this white drawstring bag. So you can just go ahead and take that out and it should look like this. Your controller will come in this bubble wrap bag. So you can also take that out and it should look like this. Your bag will also come with three black cords. The first cord has one end that plugs into your wall outlet and the other end that plugs into the power bar. And here is the second black cord. Um, it's a bit thinner and it is attached to that power bar with one end receiving that cord and the other end will go into your controller. And your third black cord is this guy here. It has two ends that look kind of similar, but one has a spinny neck on it this one will be going into your helmet, and then this one here will be going into your controller. Pads for your helmet will come in this bag here, and it should come with two different sized pads, one a bit thicker, one a bit thinner, and included should be some Velcro dots. You will also have this strap, which you can add to your helmet for a little extra stability. And you also have your neuronic manual, which tells you just a bit more information about the device. And most importantly, if you purchase the Neuradiant Plus, the password for your clinical protocols will be on page 10 on this. So once you've ensured that you have all your components, we can start setting up the device. So first things first is you're gonna take this black cord with the wall outlet, and you're gonna plug one end into the power bar here. It should fit just like that, nice and snug. And the other end of this power bar has this little cord, which will be plugged into your controller in this smaller hole here. And make sure you just line up the hole on this guy with the pin on this guy. Otherwise you might run into some issues. So we're just gonna plug it in just like so. Make sure it's snug in there as well. And then you have your final black cord with the two similar looking ends. The end with the little spinny top on it this is gonna go into the back of your helmet right here. See how there's pins there and there's holes here? You wanna make sure that they're aligned and you wanna make sure that they're snug and tight. So it should go like this. And then you can screw this on, make sure it's tight. Then you can take the other end and plug that in here, ensuring the same snugness and tightness. It should look like that and that. I would now take this time to double check all your connections and attachments that you have and make sure that they are super snug and tight in there. You can tell I'm emphasizing this a lot because one of the most common causes of problems for our clients is loose connections. So to avoid any unnecessary cost of return or delay in using your equipment, I would just go ahead and check every single attachment and make sure it is nice and snug. Another very important part of setting up your helmet is to add these pads that I mentioned before. So you will receive these little dots of Velcro on one side, it's adhesive on the other side, it is Velcro. So the adhesive side will stick to the helmet, the Velcro will stick to the pad. You will also have these longer ones. For me, I put it on the front, back, side, and side, and I use the thinner ones. So you can take the adhesive Velcro off, stick it on your helmet, and then pop these on here. And the key for this kind of placement is you want your helmet to be stable. You don't want it to be tight on your head, you just want it to be snug enough that if you move your head around, the helmet's not moving with you. Now that you have that all set up, you are ready to turn on your device, and you can just press the power button just up here, and it'll just take a second to load and you will be met with this home screen, which has a few preset protocols. So I have chosen the protocol focus. It's one of the preset protocols here. So once your protocol is chosen, you're free to throw on your helmet here 
and you can click the start button here. It'll give you a couple beeps and then your session will begin. You can see the progression of the session on this bar here. And the most important part now is for you to relax. When you hear a series of beeps, that means your session is over. So you can gently take off your helmet and place it down. Once you are done with your device, you can just click the power button up here to turn it off and unplug the plug from the wall. If you use the device regularly, it would be best to not disassemble the device. But if you don't, or if you're traveling, it would be best practice to take all the cords out and package it away. For any more information or support, please visit our website and feel free to fill out a support form. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial on how to set up and use your Radiant 1070. We hope that you found it super helpful and please go and enjoy the benefits of improved cognitive function with Neuronic.